What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hopping back onto that ranked up ladder for Series 11. And ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be rocking out with this Life or Rayquaza team that also features Rotom Wash and Weakness Policy Metagross. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you to everybody who supports me as a content creator. It really does go a long way. But before we get into today's team preview, I just want to go over that I am currently sitting here recording in pajamas and slippers. Like, that just blows my mind. I'm absolutely blessed, and that is all thanks to you guys showing support on the videos and you guys enjoying all the content that I have to bring. So, seriously, thank you guys so much. I'm sitting here very, very comfortable playing some Pokemon Sword Shield. Like, does it get any better than this? I do not think so. But, hey, top left corner, let's get started with the team preview. We got Grimmsnarl, Lake Clay Grimmsnarl, I should say. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a little bit, you guys know that Lake Clay Grimmsnarl is one of my favorite support mods to use in VGC. I just think it's worked so well. I just think it's an absolute beast all around. We got Light Screen. We got Reflex. Scary face to slow down opposing Pokemon and foul play for our stab hitting move. Right next to him is another support mod for the team, and that is going to be the one and only Amoongus. The Pokemon Mushroom or Pokeball Mushroom, whatever you want to call it. Pizza topping, I don't really care. You guys can decide. But Protect, Rage Powder, Spore, and Sludge Bomb, a fairly normal moveset for Amoongus, alongside with the Regenerator ability and the Koba Berry as its item. Middle left is our Restricted Mon, and this Restricted Mon never gets that much love, but I always feel like it's really, really good, and it is even better in this Dynamax format. I feel like it was eh in Series 10, but... I think in this series it will be a little bit better due to the Dynamax coming back. But Airlock is its ability, so weather effects will not be in play when he's on the field. So you guys will actually see when we go up against weather team. Hopefully we'll go up with weather team, but chances are we will. Uh, he also has a life orb as his item, and then protect Hurricane, Drake Meter, and Earth Power for this phenomenal hard-hitting moveset. Right next to him is Entei, and Entei is just an absolute beast on any single team. As inner focus, so intimidates and fake outs will not work up against it. Assault vest so we can soak up some special attacking shots. Then we got Sacred Fire for stab, extreme speed for first turn priority, bulldoze to actually proc our Metagross's weakness policy, and snarl for special attack drop. Bottom left is Rotom Wash, and Rotom Wash is great in any Dynamax series, just really is. It's an all-around beast. We got Protect for its first move, Nasty Plot to set up, and then we got Thunderbolt and Hydro Pump, both for stab moves with that Levitate ability, obviously, and then the Citrus Berry as an item. Final Pokemon on the squad is Metagross, and we've been showing off Metagross a good bit. I think we showed a case him in, like, two videos so far for Series 11. He's just so good with that weakness policy, and in this Dynamax format, we're using him once again here. We got Clear Body as its ability, so Intimidate will not work, or any other stat changing moves. Weakness policy as an item, like we already said, and then we got Protect, Iron Head for Stab, Rock Slide, and Stopping Tantrum, both for our coverage moves. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 11 Life or Rayquaza team. This is perfect. Hopping into battle number one, going up against a weather team. And that's going to work well with my airlock Rayquaza so we can show off that ability to its fullest potential. I feel like in a team preview, I didn't really explain it too much. So let me give you a little, little preview right here. Let me just explain it real quick. So airlock will disappear any effects that come into weather. So say he leads the ground on and I lead my Rayquaza, the boost damage from the heat will go away. I think Chlorophyll will go away as well as long as Rayquaza is on the field. So the weather will still technically be there, but the effects of weather will be disappeared. You might still get Chlorophyll, I'm not too sure, but I know the heat damage will go away from there and say if uh, it was Sandstorm, the Buffets will go away as well. But he also has the Charizard, the Venusaur, the Incineroar, Umbreon, and Reg like a fairly meta round on team. But I kind of want to leave the Rayquaza just to get after it just like that and then potentially set up screens here. Screens could be really, really nice. Or I could go into Entei, which would give me speed control, which would actually work really well. But I just feel like having Grimstone out on the field is great because we can do speed control with the scary face. And then final Pokemon on the squad is probably going to be Rotom and... Hmm. Rotom and Entei could be decent, especially in this heat. Entei could be good. Fake outs can't work up against them. Same thing with Intimidate. So I'm going to bring Entei in in that back end and try to roll out up against this ground. Series 11 has been a lot of fun, but we're starting to see like Groudon's taking over. I feel like I feel like Groudon is the most heavy meta Pokemon. I see more Groudon teams than any other teams. I see probably Zassian second and then Kyogre third and then probably tied for like fourth and fifth is you can flop them is the Ice Rider and Shadow Rider Calyrex. Then other than that, I think that all the other ones are decently off meta. Besides Solgaleo, I feel like Solgaleo is actually really strong. He's going to end up leading the Incineroar alongside with the Charizard, so we could see a Dynamax come out here. Um, what do I do from here? It's a Jeans player. Do I take Speed Advantage and go into an Airstream with Rayquaza? That might be my play, just a Dynamax early here and get into it. Timonate is going to fly through here and Rayquaza special attack, and so that works wonders. Uh, I could set up the Light Scream. Hmm. 
What is the play? He's probably gonna fake me out. But I think I should go into here. I could go for a special defense boost into Incineroar and try to deal as much damage as I possibly can. Or, yeah, you know what? We're gonna Dynamax. We're gonna hit up on you. Even though we're not gonna kill, I still think it is to play. And we're gonna set up a late screen. Just try to just try to out bulk this guy for the first for the first half of the battle. Cause I feel like we're both gonna Dynamax here. And we're both gonna try to get after it. But yo, it's so cool. The double shiny of Rayquaza and Charizard. They're both that cool like grayish black tint that just looks phenomenal with a little bit of red in it that just makes it pop. Yo, dude, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. I'm loving it. But yo, another thing I wanna say is thank you to everybody who gives me like supportive comments and say they, they like the videos and all that it really just go a long way i try to comment back to everybody so if you guys are one of them shout out to you guys for supporting me as a content creator it really does go a long way but he's gonna hard swap into groudon and that kind of works for me i'm kind of with that i'm gonna hit this thing with a ground move we are gonna be able to set up a light screen which is huge we might be able to take out my grimstone but with that going on we will have a light screen out and about which is huge and I i'm guessing he's going for a fire move right maybe i should have went for the uh, speed move Maybe I should have went for the straight uh, speed. The speed would be great here, especially for next turn. I wonder if Rayquaza outspeeds the, uh, the what's it called? The ground on. Very good question. But Airlock is out. Airlock is out. So I don't think he gets the fire boost, right? Does he get solar power from that as well? We shall see. The effects of weather disappear. So I do, he doesn't get the boost from the fire damage. I believe that's how it works. I believe that's how it works i always get confused with this so if you guys like if i'm saying this wrong let me know in the comment section down below let's see how this one plays out late screen is out and about beautiful making our squad a bit more bulkier here he's gonna roll up with a fire right oh no he's gonna go straight for an max airstream here and you're causing you that's a tasty snack you got there that's a real tasty snack a really tasty snack so he's definitely gonna be able to outspeed me from there um i think i'm going to slow down the charizard at this point do i slow down the charizard we go into a quake here. We are going to get a nice, lovely special defense boost. It's just huge for us. And it's going to be some big damage. So, I could actually slow down the Groudon. I could slow down the Groudon. There's a nice little special defense boost. He knows we, he outspeeds me. I'm thinking I'm going to slow down the Groudon because we should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. And we should go into an airstream here. I think that's going to be play. Because there's no way he protects him, right? There's no way he protects him. Thinking that he has speed. Battle was canceled? Okay. I'm with it. We take those. Yo, what just happened there? I'm so confused. Why did that guy cancel battle? I think he still had a fighting chance there. Like, it was just like the beginning of the match. And he did not know we had scary face. Granted, I think when we scary face that ground on, we were going to be able to take him out, get another special defense boost, and then, uh, or speed boost, whichever one I really want to go into. And then roll out from there because the Charizard wasn't going to be able to kill us with that one special defense boost and the ledge screen up. So I'm a little confused still why he quit, but I still feel like we had that battle in the bag. But we're hopping into our second battle here, looking to go back to back. Well, technically our, yeah, technically back to back, but looking for kind of our first one. Hopefully this match can go the distance. We're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team, and I'm thinking of going into uh, hmm, gonna be a nice little lead here. I mean, say he leads the Mimikyu. Just, just say he leads the Mimikyu. Yes, a fake out user. I could go Entei. Entei could be decent here. I might go Entei. We're gonna need somebody to maybe double down into uh let's go let's go with the Entei and Metagross combo. Bring Rayquaza in the back end. I do like that and then Rotom Heat. I am digging that. I am really digging that. Because say he does go into uh Mimikyu. Say he does go into Mimikyu or Incineroar. We can just like bypass the fake out and kind of just roll out there and take him out. I'm kinda of with this all day. Yo, we got random music on again. Yo, we jamming. We're jamming to... Is this Isle of Armor music? It's definitely Isle of Armor music. It sounds like the dojo music. Hey! Dun, 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 Yo, dude, I love the DLCs when they came out in Switch Shield. I thought they were a lot of fun. I thought they were a lot of fun. But he leads to Mimikyu alongside with the Regilecki. And I think we'll just go into a Bulldoze here. Rock our own weakness policy and we take out the Mimikyu, right? Is that a plan? Is that a plan? He has no fake out. We might be trying to get off a burn on me, but Bulldoze will slow him down, which is really, really good. But I do think Bulldoze might be the play here. What do we protect turn one? Hmm. Now, you know what? We're going to say, we're going to say, hey, screw this, man. We're getting right after this. We're getting right after this. And I think instead of going into a Steel Spike, actually, what other Pokemon does he have? This have a lot of physical attackers, so I think Steel Spike is definitely the play. But let's rock out with this Bulldoze. I just don't want him to burn me, man. I just feel like a burn might be an option for him. But we're still going to go into the Steel Spike. We're going to try to get after this. 
Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. So the Bulldoze Weakness Policy Metagross combo coming out on the Jeans channel yet again because it is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. Next battle, we definitely want to show off Rayquaza. We definitely want to get Rayquaza back out there because first battle was looking like we were setting up for a good chance to show off Rayquaza. And then he was just like, nah, I'm done. I'm not playing Jeans. I'm canceling out here. So we thriving here. We thriving with this one. Let's see what he goes into. He goes into a Volt Switch, which I'm totally cool with. Wow. Wow, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would do. He's definitely going into a Trick Room, right? I think he's definitely going into a Trick Room here. Swapping into Calyrex, right? I had to guess it's Calyrex. If it's Calyrex, then we know he's going for a Trick Room, and then we can just take him out. Which, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So he's definitely going for a Trick Room here. And, right? It's, it's got to be a Trick Room. If you're swapping into Calyrex like, like that with a Mimikyu, this is beautiful because we're going to be able to bulldoze, proc the policy, take off the skies on Mimikyu, get a steel spike, take out the Mimikyu, and get a defense boost at the same time and cancel out the trick room. So, yo, yo, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Loving the turns. Loving the turns. This guy's popping. This guy's probably sitting there like, bruh, what do I do? What do I do? And I'm like, yo, get out of my face. <laughs> he might go back in the Regilecki, who is scary. Who is definitely scary here. We don't like Regilecki. We do not like Regilecki because Regilecki hit me hard. He did hit me hard. We do have a defense boost here. And what do I roll out from here? I don't think Regilecki can kill me with any moves he has. It did hit me hard, though. Maybe a Thunderbolt might be able to kill me. I don't know, yo. That's scary. That is scary. Let's see what he does. Let's see this dude's play. Because maybe if I can uh, protect... If he brings out Regilecki, I could protect the Metagross. And then maybe, just maybe... Go into a Sacred Fire, bring that thing down, because he might protect the uh, Calyrex here. He might protect the Calyrex as like a last ditch effort. He's gonna throw. I think he's gonna Dynamax Regilecki. Yeah, Regilecki is gonna come out and about here, which I'm cool with. I could Snarl. I could Sacred Fire. Uh, what's the play here? The Lightning probably KOs me, and he does outspeed me. Hmm. Do I drop his Special Attack? Do I go into Sacred Fire? What is the call? I definitely want to guard my Metagross, and I would definitely want to hit up on Regilecki, but I don't know what to hit him with. Maybe just a Snarl? Is that thing policy? It could be. We don't like. I think we just go for a Secret Fire on that thing. And we're just going to guard. We're just going to guard from here. See what this dude's going to do here. He's definitely Dynamax. Yeah, so he Dynamaxes a Regilecki. Okay. Okay, I'm with it. I still have my, uh, who do I have? I have Rotom and Rayquaza in the back, right? I believe so. I believe so. Well, let's see, dude. Regilecki hits hard, so we're guarding here. I think I should have read the uh, Calyrex protecting. I think I definitely should have read that, but he might go into a move. Let's see his dude fly. We're going to guard here. I don't think he's protecting, which could be good for us. He does, so hopefully he's going into a guard shot onto me or max lightning onto my uh, Metagross. Yeah, okay, so it's just a cancel out of turns there. I knew I should have went after Regilecki and read that protect. That was definitely my play. Now let's just see what he does from here. So, he's... Again, he's probably going to take me out here. I could swap, but... Tough news. We know we outspeed him, so I think a Sacred Fire dropping all into this Calyrex is definitely a play. And then, I mean, if we can get this off, we're going to go for a Quake. But I just don't see us getting into that at all. I think a Max Lightning does KO us. Maybe, just maybe we soak it up. Maybe some miracle happens. Maybe gets a low roll. He's going to end up withdrawing you and going out into his final mod, which is going to be... Who's his last mod? It's going to be Incineroar. So Intimidate is going to pop out here, which is which is decent, which is decent. I mean, it doesn't really do anything. We got Clear Body and uh, Inner Focus, and he can't fake out my my Entei. Max Lightning is going to fly through here. Can you eat this? I don't think he does. Eat it up. Yeah, no. We knew he wasn't going to eat that. We knew he was not going to eat that. But we know his final Pokemon. We know his last Pokemon. He has one more turn left in Dynamax, and he only has Electric Moves. He only has Electric Moves. So whoever I bring out here, we're going to protect because he obviously has fake out Raid and Rock. Bigger Fire is going to fly through here and we're going to look for some damage. Chipping away. <laughs> Getting off a little bit. Just a little bit. And now next Pokemon we got to bring out here is going to be the Rotom. Do we bring out Rotom or do we bring out Rayquaza? I think we save the Rayquaza. Rayquaza does have Earth Power. I think we save the Rayquaza. Let's bring out the Rotom. Let's protect the Rotom here. Right? We have to protect the Rotom. That's an absolute. Rotom is an absolute must of a protect here. Because he has to fake out ready to roll. And I could snarl. I could snarl and start lowering his special attack, which I think I am gonna do, and then just like I said, protect the Rotom and go from there. 
Hopefully he's max lightning -ing into my real time slot. That could be big. That could be big. But this is a solid battle right here. Protect coming out from the washing machine. From fresh laundry, we should call him. <laughs> and he's gonna go for that fake out. And oh dude, he read the protect. He did read the protect. We do have inner focus. Max lightning's gonna fly. There we go. Oh we I don't know if he read the protect. Maybe he just forgot about uh maybe he just forgot about max lightning or uh inner focus. Maybe he just forgot about that. And Snarl's gonna fly through here. And who dodged that? Was that Regilecki? Why? Why does Regilecki dodge a Snarl? That's the only person we wanted it to hit. The only one. The only one. Get out my face, y'all. I'm not dealing with it. Not dealing with it. Hate this game. I hate this game. Let's go into a bulldoze here. Let's go into a bulldoze. And I kind of want to try to get off another protect, but it's not going to happen here. And did we go for the Hydro Pump here? What do we go with? What do we go with? Hmm. You try to take out Incineroar? Yeah, might as well. Might as well, dude. Come on, yo. That Snarl really didn't hit him. He's gonna swap Incineroar into the Calyrex. Into the Cali. Into the Cali. And what is he gonna go into from here? Is he gonna take out my Rotom? Let's see his dude's play. Let's see his dude's play. He's gonna Volt Switch out. So he wants to get back out that Incineroar. And he takes me out, you son of a biscuit. He wants to get back out that Incineroar. So he has Fake Out ready to roll. He does indeed have Fake Out ready to roll. Okay. It's still a really good battle. This is still definitely winnable. Still definitely winnable with this uh, Incineroar coming out here. Intimidate, not doing anything. And then we can protect our uh, Rayquaza. Or we can make sure. Or we can be like, hey. Um, or we can make the read that he thinks that we're protecting. And just go into a move. Bulldozer is going to fly through here. And that's going to be big because it slows down both these guys. It does indeed slow down both these guys. So, with all this going on here. I got to bring out Rayquaza. A little tough. Which is a little tough here. We do have the Assault Vest on the Entei, which is really, really nice. We do love the Assault Vest on the Entei. We do like that. So, Inner Focus cannot hit us with the Fake Out. We know that. But it can hit my Rayquaza. And the thing is... Let's go into a Secret Fire here. Try to get off as much damage as I can. And then, do I protect you? The thing is, if I protect Rayquaza here, then he goes into an Ice Move. That's tough news. So, I... I I have to go into protect. I cannot just not protect and have him fake me out, right? I cannot. I can't have that happening. I just Glacial Lance taking me out. Let's see the play. Fake out is going to come in here. And he's going to go over to you. And is he going for a Glacial Lance here? Let's see. Sacred Fire is going to fly. How much damage are we getting off? We get off a good amount. Give me the burn. Give me the burn on him. We don't get the burn. The weakness policy does proc. That's scary. That is definitely scary. Definitely scary. Go into... Oh, goes into ooh, he pops a room full of tricks. You son of a biscuit. We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. Now we got to hope that an extreme speed takes out. And I don't think it does. And we're going to go for a double protect. We have to land a double protect here. Or he's taking us out. If we can get rid of him here. If we can at least land a double protect. That's huge. He's going to withdraw the instant war. And he's going to go into uh, Regilecki. He's going to go into Regilecki. And yo, come on. Show me that we land a double protect. Oh my lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We land double protect. Extreme speed comes out here. That's not KO, but another one will. Another one will. And I think that this Entei should be able to eat up this Glacial Lance. Let's see. Make it happen. Make it happen. A crit? A crit? What you mean? What you mean? A crit. No way he wins on a crit. Bro, we were going to win. We were going to win this match. Bruh. Yo, just think. Just think. We, we survived that. No crit. We survived that all day. That's easy eats for my boy. Then we extreme speed. Again, we take him out. We outspeed the Regilecki. And I know for dang sure that this Earth Power is definitely taking him out. He's gone. He's out of here. Brings us down to a 2v2 situation. It's GG's, yo. It is GG's. Get out my face. Hate this game. I'm running this battle. Sick of it sick of it i'm sick of it i'm so over it not gonna lie ladies and gentlemen i was this close to just deleting pokemon sword and shield off of my switch this close this close that dude really won on a crit get out my face get out of my face dude we were rolling in that battle everything was looking good and then he gets a crit and kills my entei but it's all good. We're hopping into a third and final battle and looking for that winning record for you guys. Should already have it, but we're going up against a Groudon team here with Charizard, Rillaboom, Incineroar, Regilecki, and Urshfield.
Heavy meta. Heavy meta, so hopefully we can outplay him and pick up a victory here. I'm gonna go Rayquaza here. I think Rayquaza is a great lead, especially with Grimmsnarl. Oh, I could go Ant Ooh, the Ant and Meta Ghost combo. Really looking good here. Really looking good here, but I do want to show off Rayquaza. I really do want to show off Rayquaza, so I am gonna lead these two. Um, in this case, I can bring in... Hmm. Who comes in the back? Rotom coming in the back? I do like Rotom in this back end here. Let's bring Rotom in the back, and then final Pokemon is Entei or Metagross? Entei or Metagross here. Hmm. But I think it's going to be better. We have Clear Body, we have Inner Focus. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. We have Fire Move, we have Boulders, we have Snarl. I just think Metagross, I think we need the heavy hitting Pokemon. We need a heavy hitting Pokemon in this back end. Is that the call? Is that going to be the call? Yeah, we're gonna rock out. Actually, mm, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna rock out with Metagross. I'm gonna stick with my gut here. I'm gonna stick with my gut here because anytime I usually change up whatever I'm feeling, it usually goes bad. It usually goes bad. But yeah, let's grab ourselves this winning record here. Let's get rocking out with this one. Let's get rocking out with this one. Bump, 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 bump. Let's see. Let's see what this guy's got to offer. Let's see what this guy has to offer. He's gonna throw out the Charizard. Alongside with the ground, so he's getting right into the heat action. Good thing we have airlock rocking out here. I can set up a light screen turn one. He has no fake out. Um, I think that's a cool turn. I think that's a cool turn for us. Uh, what is our play? Do we go into a special defense boost? I think going into a special defense boost can work wonders for us. I think that works really good for us. This is basically like a mirror of our first battle here. So going into this uh, special defense boost overall to you could do good, and then setting up a light screen at the same time. So we're going to try to mirror what we did in battle number one here. Set up the light screen, get off a special defense boost, be able to soak up shots, and then go go from there. And then go from there. And then if I have the scary face, I can. So let's just see how the suit plays out. Let's see how the suit plays. I can definitely see him Dynamaxing the Charizard, obviously, right? Charizard's just too good not to Dynamax. Gotta be his play. But we do have airlock one, which airlock is phenomenal up against weather. Team. Working wonders. But yo, how did we lose that last battle? I'm so upset, man. <laughs> I'm so upset. Cause yo, we just go into an extreme speed. He's dead. He's dead. And then we can just take out Regilecki with the Earth Power because we outspeed him in the trick room. And then it comes down to a 1v2 with an incident. Or a 2v1. With an incident. And incident where really don't win a lot of 1v1s. Ran a 2v1 coming out. But let's see what Stu does. Is he going to Dynamax? He does not Dynamax. So we do get off a lovely little ice cream. And I wonder what he's going for with Charizard. I do wonder what he's going for with Charizard. Maybe he's looking for a flinch. He goes to an Air Slash, which we are able to just soak up. We are just able to soak up. And a Quake does come out here, letting us know that we outspeed this ground on all day. We're getting off some big bulky damage here, which we love. And I wonder what ground he's going for. He's going for a Fire Punch. He's going for Blades. What is he doing? More Swords Dance could be an option. Let's see what this guy goes for. I'm gonna go for a rock slide, which yeah, I'm cool with. I'm cool with that. That's easy eats. I could set up a reflect here, which I might just do. I am gonna go into a worm in here and try to take him out. Or do I go for speed? Hmm. This player. Worm or speed? Let me go for speed if we're setting up a reflect. I said we go for speed here if we, and then we can just set up this reflect. Right, I'm with it. I'm with it all day. Let's get some speed with our uh, Rayquaza. Let's see what he does with the Charizard. Let's see what he does from the Charizard. Maybe he'll swap the Charizard and we get like a nice hit on whatever Pokemon he brings out. That could be an option. I don't know if he's going to Dynamax the Charizard now. Now that we have off the Light Tree and a special defense boost. He does. He does. He does Dynamax Charizard. We like that. We, we do like that. We do like that. We do indeed like that. Now, is he going for an airstream? What's it? What's his call here? What is his call here? Dynamax Charizard. We are special defense boosted with a light screen and plus one. We do like that. We do like that. He does protect the ground on. Lovely. Lovely. And what is he going to go for? I wonder what he's going to go for. Because we could just scary face next turn. We could just scary face next turn. He does not know we have scary face here. He's going to go for a wildfire, which we like. Little mind, which we actually might not be able to go for scary face. Actually, we can. Look how much we eat, yo. Airlock taking away damage, special defense boost, and the uh, light screen out and about. That's huge. That is just huge. We end up going for there. We have speed all day now. We are rocking out with speed, and I think I just take out ground. I think uh, Charizard might protect here. Do we think Charizard protects? I could see it happening. 
I could see Charizard protecting. Wildfire is going to chip away onto us, which we don't like. We don't like one bit. Uh, I think going into a Quake is our call. Or do we go for another speed? I don't think we really need speed. I think we just slow him down like this. If we can. Or we can just go into a Foul Play. Which Foul Play is based on physical attack. Which Foul Play might be able to take out the Groudon. Who's faster? Let me see the speeds here. One thirty nine and eighty two. I said we just go into what we were normally gonna do. Let's go here, and then we are just going to scary face over onto you. That's gonna be our play. That's gonna be our play. I think he guards though. I really do think he guards. He does not guard. So we do get off the scary face, which is wonderful. Which will make our Rayquaza go first. I think we're going first regardless, but. We do slow that thing down, and now we get another special defense boost, which I don't think he can be able to take out any of my Pokemon here. So huge turn for us. We get rid of the Groudon. We have a very slow G-Max Charizard here. Which I should be able to just take out next turn. I shall be able to take out next turn, unless he brings out, like, Venusaur. And Chlorophyll still works, even though with my own. Let's see. Airstream is going to fly. He's going to go for the speed boost, and that's going to be easy eats. That is just easy eats all day. All day. And I haven't been checking if uh, Solar Power has been working on Let's see. All fire damage is still chipping away, which we do not like. Not one bit. I could go for a scary face on whatever Pokemon he throws out, and I think that is going to be our play. This is just drop a scary face and then drink a meter into whatever. Because again, I'm not really worried about Charizard. I really am not worried about this Charizard, unless he swaps it out. But then we still have Rotom in the back. Rotom can work wonders onto that Pokemon. And we still have Metagross as well. So he's going to throw out his next Pokemon, which is going to be the Regilecki. Mm, we don't really like that Regilecki. Actually, if we scary face that thing, I think I think we're fine with that. And then going into an Earth Power. Do we think he protects him? I think we just scary face and we double down into this thing. I'm with it all day. Hopefully he doesn't protect that thing. Hopefully he doesn't protect that Regilecki. If he doesn't, we're sitting in a great spot. I'm hoping he just thinks he outspeeds us all day and he's just gonna go for like an E-Web and kinda go from there. So let's see. Let's see. No protects from the Reggie, man. No protects from the Reggie. We can't really afford that. We can't really afford that. That would really bring him back in the game if he does protect and picks up a KO here. We wouldn't like that one bit. We wouldn't like that one bit. Make a play. He does not, yo. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, scary, so scary Face is going to come out here. Rayquaza should be able to outspeed because we're plus one and he's minus two. Right? Am I correct? Yep. Earth Power comes through. Can this KO? We are orbed. We are life orbed. Some big damage. And he is Sash. Okay, that's fine. He is Sash. So Sash is going to fly here. Um, He's going to pick up the double KO. We know what's happening. Bolt Switch is going to come out here. And he's going to show his final Pokemon, which we're cool with. He's going to show his final Pokemon. Again, I'm not really worried about the Charizard. The Charizard is like in the dumps right now. <laughs> with the, uh, Actually, no. He won't be after, his, uh, after both these Pokemon come out. He'll only have Light Screen really bothering him. He's going to go out with Urshifu. So it's going to be the Water Urshifu. We still have the Metagross in the back. And he hits through Protects, which we don't like. And he gets a Speed Boost. He does indeed get a Speed Boost. Okay. Okay. Alright, I, I see you. I see him. Now, do we protect the Metagross? I don't think we protect Metagross. Because the only problem here is... We protect Metagross. We protect Metagross. He hits through us anyway. He hits right on through us. The Rotom's gonna fly. We have our screens up. We do have our screens up, and I wanna see how much longer we have our screens up for. His Dynamax turn is over. His Regilecki is on legit 1 HP. So we'll see how this one plays out. His Charizard. Mm, what are we gonna do about that Charizard? What are we gonna do about that Charizard? I really, really just wanna go into here with that. And I think we're just gonna rock side. I think we're just gonna rock side. I think that's gonna be our play. Let's see what how this dude does. He does still have the Heat out, which works great for us. He still does have the heat out, which he might protect just to get that uh, heat gone. The heat really does benefit us, but he might just go into a fighting move on him. We'll see. He might just close combat on me. We shall see. We shall see. If I can get all, if I can land this rock slide with with this Metagross without him going down, we're sitting in a really good spot. Let's see how this dude plays this one out. Let's see how this one plays out. Make a move, buddy. Air Slash can come through here, and it misses. Metagross dodges. That's huge. And a close combat's going to fly through here. Can you eat that? All day. All day, baby. 
all day. So we need this rock side to land. We need this rock side to land. He misses his air slash. I don't think air slash was really doing that much. It was just getting more so a flinch chance. Thunderbolt is going to fly here. And that's going to pick up the KO. Mwah, yo, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Now, if this rock side land, lands, we get a guaranteed win. Rock side land. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, that's GG's. That is GG's. We rolling out with the Rayquaza squad. Especially up against a heavy meta ground. It feels so good to get wins like that with off meta teams. It's just awesome. And it's just awesome. The big play there, I really don't think his air slash miss was really going to get him the win. He still needed that flinch chance. And even with that flinch, I still feel like it's just a very close battle because say he flinches my medicals. We still KO his, uh, we still KO his Urshabu. It comes down to a 2v1. Or no, it comes down to a 2v2 situation where we still have light screen. And I just feel like we're thriving here. Uh, we're not going to go into a Hydra Bomb because I don't want to miss that. We are going to go into move with higher accuracy here. And we are just going to go into an Iron Head because again, we just need to do one damage. We just need to do one damage. He's probably going to go for an E-Web. Might KO my uh, Metagross. Oh, no. He's just going to go straight for a Thunderbolt. And that's gonna, that is going to KO my Metagross. And then this Thunderbolt should be able to come out here and say GG's. Should say GG's, yo. Good game. Let's go, baby. There it is. Winning record for you guys. Absolutely dominate in today's video. And granted, we shouldn't have lost a second battle. Your boy's still upset with that one. Who would have thought a Rayquaza team could be this strong? We played great in today's videos. The first battle, the dude canceled very early. Second battle was a great battle all around, and we lost due to a crit. And the third and final battle, we dominated a meta Groudon team with this off-meta Rayquaza team. Definitely a strong team. I love it all around. You have the Grimmsnarl and the Moogus for support. We didn't get to show off a Moogus today, but you guys already know what he does. We also have the Entei and Metagross combo, which works wonders in any single battle. And then you have the Rayquaza and Rotom, who are just great Pokemon all the round but i'm not sure if i ask you guys question of the day but it is right below on the screen it is what are some pokemon that you guys are going to be using or planning on using in the brilliant diamond and shiny pearl remix i think i might have asked it in like battle number two but i totally forgot if i didn't ask it there it is if i asked it then answer the question in the comment section down below because i would love to get you guys answers there but guys that is going to be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positive day and i'll catch you on the next one Peace out, everybody.